Recently in social media, we have seen a lot of people talk about the importance and the value of athletic trainers, and it's been a really good thing for our profession. You know, if you follow football at all, people have seen the DeMar Hamlin case. And what that really did for our profession is to show that as athletic trainers, we are valued parts of the healthcare profession. And we can help um, prevent injuries, but we also are trained to treat and take care of these sometimes catastrophic injuries. Denny Kellington, the assistant athletic trainer, was the person who really initiated. He saw, um, he got on the field and he saw that there was an emergency. So the athletic trainers, a lot of times in, um, in not just in that case, but in many cases, were the first person usually to be there on the field um, or when an injury occurs. In sports like the NBA, NFL, or especially baseball, Major League Baseball, because it is a very long season, um, fatigue is a huge factor in, in injury risk. And so you can see that you know the longer someone is, is active and doing activities without recovery, the more at risk they may be for injury. And so we're starting to see actually, because of that, a lot of people are focusing on that recovery portion um, to help them you know, be able to get into activities fresh so that they are less fatigued and less likely to create injury. Um, you know, when we think about our body, if we are fatigued, we're not gonna be able to have as great of control over our muscles and our, you know, kind of where we're at in space and when we're doing these high level things. So yeah, some of the current trends that we're seeing in athletic training right now, um, some huge things, dry needling, cupping therapy, those are some big things. But a really big one is active recovery and focusing on, you know, how do we get our athletes to recover or our patients to recover after, you know, their activities. So you're seeing a lot of things like, you know, Norma Tech, it's kind of like a compression device and people will use these different um, technologies and things that they can use to help them recover and, and to, get, to get better. So um, as athletic trainers and as healthcare professionals, we have to constantly be aware of the different things that are out there. So I, I think in, in the world in general, but definitely in healthcare, there's a lot of growth and change and we have to constantly just be educating ourselves and be willing to learn every day about new things and the new trends that are coming up. March is National Athletic Trainers Association Month. It's a great time to be an athletic trainer. We are at a point right now where there are more athletic training jobs than there are athletic trainers. We're starting to see salaries go up. Um, we're starting to see people focus more on work-life balance and making sure that people are happy where they're working and happy with what they're doing. Um, and I think recent cases have really shown people that athletic trainers are such an integral part of um, not just sports teams. Traditionally, you know, we work with sports and athletics, but we also have athletic trainers who work in physicians' practices. We have athletic trainers working with, you know, performing arts, you know, ballet, Cirque du Soleil. Um, we have athletic trainers who work in the industrial setting. And so I think that, you know, highlighting NATA Month, Athletic Training Month, um, is very important for our profession because people are starting to realize what athletic trainers are and what we do. And they see that and they see that, you know, all these different things on social media about, you know, Denny Kellington, you know, saving DeMar Hamlin's life. And they say, you know what, I want to do that. I want to be an athletic trainer for the NFL. I want to be an athletic trainer for Major League Baseball. And by having a month where we can really recognize athletic trainers, it gives us an opportunity, um, you know, really to share what we are and what we do with, with the general population.